Hey everybody, it's Adriana Franklin, owner of Legacy Level Consulting. And today we are going to go over the scripture for February 7th through February 13th. So um, this is definitely a late video. You have to definitely excuse me. Um, this week has been a very interesting week and it's so amazing lit how my daddy is because he definitely likes to teach me things in demonstration and he really showed me how important rest is and with this particular scripture um I had to you know I read it but I also had to read what was before and what was after and it was just so mind-blowing to me like wow like my daddy he is like so intentional about how he wants me to operate and how he wants me to move because some things happened last week and I was just like Jesus take the wheel because things just happened out the blue that I just was like wow and I just didn't really know how to respond and I had worked a, a long 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 I had a busy week <laughs> let's just say that I had a really extremely busy week um physically and emotionally so again like these scriptures are seeming to kind of fall right in line and for those of you who saw my october challenge like that was so lit because he definitely um was speaking through that so um so i don't know if i shared with everyone but my Hebrew Greek word key Bible finally came. I had been trying to search for this Bible for so long and I was trying to reach out to find out which exact Bible it was for quite some time and then now it's like every other couple of hours I hear the name of this Bible and I'm like wow like so sometimes we just have to kind of go back and um sometimes we just have to go back so yeah Anyways, so the scripture, I'm going to read the scripture um, for this week, which is Hebrew 4.12. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than to any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So, of course, the version I picked now was the KJV because that's the kind of Bible I have and that's what I will be studying um, from here on out. So, of course, whatever translation you chose, um, good, that's great for you. And this one isn't too far off. It just says that the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. And other joints and marrow, and the discerner of thoughts and spirits, intents of the heart. I mean, so basically, um, when they say quick, you know, the Bible is alive and it's active. So, you know, we have our body, spirit, and our soul, and our body is what's most exposed to the elements of this world. It's our five senses. Um, so then our soul is our mind, will, and our emotions. And that's where we can get caught up into things like anger, um, wrath, well, wrath, and, wrath and anger are the same thing. Um, anger, um, anxiety, shame, fear, lust, greed, gluttony, jealousy, offense. Those are things that our soul can feel, you know what I'm saying? But in our spirit, that's where we go and we get to be with our daddy and be in that secret place. And that's where we get to spend time with him and um, be able to just truly that deep, deep worship. And the enemy can't get to our spirit, just so we're clear. The enemy cannot get to our spirit. Um, that's like, the, you know, the secret place. So sometimes, you know, and what this word is saying to me is that, you know, the more time we spend in the word, the closer we get to God. The more time we spend in God, the closer we get. You know, our heart is deceitfully, deceitfully wicked, is what the word says. And in getting to know him and spending time with him and getting a relationship with him, we ask, you know, we want to know your heart. You know, heart, David wanted to be a man after God's own heart. 
So that's why we constantly, it tells us to meditate on the word day and night. So we have to stay in the word to keep our heart right because we were born in iniquity. We were born into sin. I mean, every day we have to wake up and die to ourselves because our flesh, our body, our flesh, that's like the strongest part because it's the outer part. It's the most exposed part. So we have to just really be intentional on the things of God. And we have to armor up every day so that way we can block those things from the enemy. You know, those fiery darts that are coming at us to try to attack us, to try to cause fear, to try to cause anger, to try to cause offense, and to try to cause all these different things that just like, that's why a lot of that times I post, I'm like, you know what, in the natural Y'all would think that I would be ready to fast because I'm going to tell you, look, this is one of my shirts. I am the evidence. I am not big on makeup, okay? But do you guys see that? And usually if you see me in like full makeup, especially if it's like for an event, nine times out of ten, someone else did it. And it's like it's full on makeup with the contouring and all that stuff. And that's just not what I do. So doing these videos, I'm like, okay, you know, I have to do makeup and um, today we're going to go and start you know, celebrating my birthday festivities and um, I'm still, I'm not advertising my merch because I'm still getting to know my merch. I'm getting to know which materials I like and which ones I don't like so that way I can kind of really be able to tell you guys a little bit more about it. So um, in that, like this shirt is just like the most perfect shirt, like I am the evidence and um I'm getting ready to head out and I'm like, okay, let's, let's put this makeup on and do this video real quick. Cause it's the last day of the week and a piece dropped on me. Now I am telling you, my flesh wanted to scream, but I'm like, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not going to do that because, because I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. That is just something that is outwardly. Uh, I don't know if it's a test or an attack. And at this point, again, I don't care. Because the thing about it is, is that getting this done is more important than it being perfect. That's something that Tiffany Montgomery used to always say. Is done is better than perfect. And all I know is that I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop doing what it is that I'm supposed to do, my purpose. And, you know, God knows my intentions and he knows my thoughts and he knows that this planner is important to me. Getting this out to you guys is important to me. And despite what's going on in the natural and the world around me, that I still have, I still have an assignment to do and I plan to fulfill that assignment. So, um, <clears throat> And the thing about, you know, getting to our spirit is that when our soul does get all caught up in the things of this world, because the body can get to the soul, and we start to feel these feelings, that's when the sore comes in. Because do you know how hard it is to separate bone and marrow? Like, you should really, like, look into that. Because I tried looking into that, and I was all sorts of just, like... So the marrow is the fatty part inside the bone, and the, like... You got to get to the bone to get to the marrow. Yeah, I was like, okay, that sounds like it's a very hard. However, the sword, is, the, the word is like a double-edged sword. Pierced through bone and marrow. So if it can pierce through it without a doubt, I'm like, well, Lordy, Lord, Lord. I am so glad that I got the sword that can get it. So I just have to, you know, go to my secret place and speak the word of God and remind myself, like, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm the daughter of a king. I'm the head and not the tail. Um, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things, shall, all his righteousness and all these things will be added upon to you. Um, trust in Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding and all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I mean... All things are worked together for your good, for those who love God and are called according to his righteousness. Like all these things I have to pull out. So when this happened right here on my pink and red shirt to go with my birthday, 
which is tomorrow, Valentine's Day. I mean, <laughs> I am just love, love, love. And even though it's also my ex anniversary, I still love love. I still love Valentine's Day. Like you can't stop me from loving Valentine's Day. And the fact that every time I walk into a store, everyone's celebrating me, my birthday on Valentine's Day. So I'm, I'm, I'm just a Valentine's Day kind of gal and that's just period. So when that happened, I said, you know what? Mm -mm. Not today. Cause you know what? I'm daddy's favorite Adriana, period, point blank. So I am not huge on makeup. I freaked out for a little bit and uh, I still don't know what exactly I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna try to throw this in the washing machine, maybe read the instructions. Like I don't even know how to get makeup out. Like maybe this was a learning lesson for me because maybe I should wear a cape or maybe I should put makeup on and then get dressed. Like, I don't know, because you guys know what? I work from home. So <laughs> again, not really a big fan of makeup. So um, definitely a learning moment. And, you know, I was able to just quickly reset just based off this scripture because, you know, God knows my heart. He knows my heart. He knows my intentions and he knows my thoughts and everything. So when something comes up and it may not go right in sight of others and I'm just like, I just got to go back to the word of God. And one thing that he told me to do, um, if you read more of Hebrews, you know, from the beginning, he talks about rest. And I definitely overdid it a lot last week. I worked a lot of hours. I did a lot of events. Um, I tried to be super helpful in other ways. Um, and I just kind of poured out. I was pouring out a lot. And he was just like, you know, you need to get some rest. You definitely need to rest and rest in me. Which, you know, mentally, I'm like, I rest in you, daddy, because I know that you love me. And so I get da 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 And da 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 So like, you know, mentally, I'm like, yeah, like, you love me. So I got, I got this. I can keep going for you, daddy. But it's just like, he had to stop me and be like, you know, you also need to physically rest. You need to make sure that you're drinking your water. You need to make sure that you're eating and eating right. And he just kind of put a halt to that because it's just some things just came out of left field. And I just was, I was, I was taken aback and I really didn't know what to do. So I had to, you know, definitely go spend some time in that secret place. So, um, with that being said, this scripture is like, this is so perfect for me. And it was just so on time. And that's another reason why this video is late. Because today is Saturday. It's the last day of the month. And you guys are just going to have to really bear with me on this whole um, journal. I'm not journal. Planner. I keep saying journal. And I am going to get your guys' journal out to you soon. Seriously. If you haven't already got it. I would say probably about half of you got it. Um, the other half, you will get it soon. Um, but with this planner, um, this is definitely has been a baby that I have been laboring with for a long time. And I had to make sure that, you know, now that the baby is here, that I do have, you know, there's different people in your life to help you get through birth, you know. Um, and yeah. So I'm, I'm just, I'm done with the birthing process of it. And it's, you know, time to have to, you know, find, find, find a nanny or something to kind of help me because the platform that I thought was going to work for our private group, that's not working out. So, you know, it's okay. It's all good because see, this journal, this planner, if I say journal one more time, what? Um, this planner is a byproduct of what I actually do because I actually coach people through, um, people who've had trauma or who have lost someone in their life or, you know, dealing with any sort of major trauma. That is like my main, main, main focus. Hence legacy level consulting. <laughs> so, um, 
And this is just a byproduct. So this is just something I'm doing off to the side, which is totally God led and God filled because he is he's 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 giving me these scriptures as is. So I'm super excited to see what he's gonna do next. <laughs> interesting to see what next week's verse is i'm going to do the same as i did with the 30 day october challenge on facebook you guys can definitely go check that out if you're ever bored and just want to see me uh take the challenge of going live for 30 days in the month of october i did that on facebook um and i will go live um in this group once we figure out the platform that we're going to use so with that being said, um, again, read, read all of Hebrews, read, read all the Bible. <laughs> like, it's definitely getting more interesting to me by the day. I will tell you that. Um, and I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe of how he was able to give me comfort in a time where I'm like, what in the world is going on? Like, is this really happening right now like okay i said i guess it is so um yeah i just had to spend some time with him and again he has blessed me he has blessed me blessed me blessed me with a a, not, a job that is super flexible they work with me they love me of course and um, as i'm making this transition it's, it doesn't conflict, and as I need my time to regroup and time to get myself together, I've been there long enough that I've earned that right to. So, um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Sorry this video is a little longer than most, but my birthday is tomorrow, so I can do that. Um, I've crossed my Red Sea. My exodus is over. This is the last day that I will be 40 and I am going to the promised land. So I hope you guys are as excited. Um, I would love your general feedbacks um, in the comments if you'd like about this scripture um, because this is public on my YouTube channel. So this is not quite the private Facebook group yet that I envision. But I would definitely love your guys' feedback for those of you who have the journal. If you have any ideas, um, you could definitely shoot me an email or send me a message. Um, if you guys know of any platforms that might work really good for us to be able to have discussions about, um, you know, practicing abstinence or just, just any suggestions you have. I'm de definitely totally open to it. Like, I am so open to it right now at this point because... Um, Again, this is a byproduct of what I do. Do you guys like my nails? I, I like You guys can't really see my accent finger, but you can see it's like a little bit more glittery than my other ones. And my toes are super cute. Like, oh, you, know, you guys know what? Savior, he got me my first Ugg sandals for my birthday. And I'm like, oh, my baby boy. Okay, enough about me. This is about Hebrews 4.12. But again, yeah, make sure that you read Hebrews from 1 to 12 to even kind of give you a better understanding. And what I was talking about, the whole rest thing. I'm about to go try to put this in the washing machine because I really want to wear this shirt today because we're going to go and celebrate. We're going to go skating and I want to have on pink and red because my birthday's for Valentine's Day. So anyways, you guys make sure that you stay lit and let's make Jesus famous.